and I'm Chris Kaufman. The set I'm gonna do tonight was actually jokes that were picked as the favorites from all the other comedians you'll see tonight. So I'm a blue comedian, and when I say a blue comedian, it means I'm probably gonna say something that offends you. I'm a blue comedian because of my mother. My mother cussed like a sailor with jumper cables hooked up to her nipples. I mean, every other word out of her mouth was foul. But I could never cuss around her, and I'd get cuffed upside the head. Well, one day I was at school, and I was being a little jerk in homeroom, and uh, the teacher said, Chris, be quiet, Chris, be quiet, Chris, be quiet. And I looked at her and said, you're being a dumb cunt. <laughs> and she looked at me and said, you're being a little asshole. Well, I went home and I told my mother this story. She cuffed me upside the head for saying cunt. But then we realized that the substitute teacher worked with my mother at her day job. My mother was actually her boss. And my mother goes up to this lady later on uh, that night and says, so you know my son Chris, right? Do you call him a little asshole? And the lady said, yeah, but he called me a dumb cunt. And my mom leaned in and said, that's because you are a dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> oh. 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 So I had a, a meth head stepfather who would always <laughs> use proverbs, but he'd always fuck them up. He'd say things like, a bird in the hand is better than two STDs from an Asian whore with a limp. <laughs> You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them smile during anal sex. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat, but the hardcore fisting didn't help. <laughs> uh, so I obviously come from a very fucked up family, and I've developed a test so you can all find out if you come from a fucked up family too. Next time you go to a family gathering, just go around all your relatives and say, have you ever had sex with a little person? If any of them say, do you mean like kids? <laughs> then you come from a fucked up family. Uh, you might not know what to look at me, but I've been known to dabble with drugs. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But uh, a friend of mine tried to hook me up with a job and uh, I had to take a drug test for the job. So I went 40, 45 days clean and sober thinking, I'm going in for this drug test, gonna pass it, gonna be awesome. So I go in, take the drug test all confidently, go home and wait for my friend's call. And then my friend calls and says, hey man, your test came back, you failed, you failed the test. I said, how could that be man? I went 45 days clean and sober. He said, yeah, but you shit in the fucking cup, moron. <laughs> Uh, so I've been around addicts of all sorts my entire life, drug addicts, sex addicts, gambling addicts. But the worst addicts of all are those poor bastards who get hooked on phonics. <laughs> I mean, you know how hard it is to get hooked on phonics? It's not like you got people come up, coming up to you every day going, yo man, I got some phonics, you wanna try it? And then when they run out of phonics, they end up stealing, like, their grandmother's prosthetic leg and taking it down to the pawn shop to get more phonics. <laughs> and then when they can't steal anymore, you end up finding them underneath a bridge with a hobo smoking Rosetta Stones. <laughs> uh, so I was watching uh, the Para Winter Olympics a couple nights ago. I flipped it on thinking, I want to watch this. This is going to be very inspirational. And it was, but it turned out to be half as entertaining as the regular Winter Olympics. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. So I like, uh, I like my cotton candy like I like my pussy, with as little men's cum on it as possible. <laughs> While I'm on the topic of pussy, I love to eat pussy. Especially when it's beer battered. Now that joke's fun because it can be about domestic violence or cannibalism. It's really up to you. I work at a record store. We get all sorts of weird folks in there. But I had a girl come in. She dropped over $300. You drop over $300. I will walk your shit out to the car for you. As we walk out to the car, she looks down and there's a dead bird laying there. She looks up and she goes, you know what that means, don't you? 
And I was like, yeah, a bird died. <laughs> but she goes, an evil wizard is afoot. I was like, all right. I put her shit in the car, thought I was gonna get back to the door without any, any more weirdness. And she says, wait, be wary of him. <laughs> and I go back in the door and I start laughing maniacally like, ah, ha, ah, ha, 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 ha. Cause she had no idea I was the evil wizard. <laughs> These are less jokes and more just food for thought. Stephen Hawking passed away. That literally means I'm one person closer to being the smartest man alive. Uh, you think Bill Gates' panic room has windows? <laughs> what do you think Mr. T does on April Fool's Day? Do you think it's like his busiest day of the year, like he's running around going, I pity you, I pity you, I pity you, I pity you. Or do you think he's like, today everybody else can pity fools. Today, T rests. <laughs> uh, so I went to Walmart yesterday to masturbate. <laughs> it turns out that you can only poke so many holes in a belt before it'll break under the tension of your neck. <laughs> I should really start buying belts in bulk. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. I love you, man. Uh, I'm going to end with this one. One night I got off stage, and this uh, drunk broad comes up to me, and she goes, you know, a margarita is better than a man because a margarita hits the spot every time. And I was like, well, by that silly-ass fucking logic, a vacuum's better than a woman, because a vacuum will suck your dick and clean the floor and not say a fucking word about it. <laughs> my name's Chris Kaufman. That's been my time. Thanks, guys. Keep it going for Chris Kaufman, everybody. Woo!